location lying entirely in the southern hemisphere almost within the antarctic circle antarctica is the fifth largest continent its area is about 14 million square kilometers which however keeps on changing due to freezing of water or melting of the snow the continent is surrounded by the southern ocean which is the southward extension of the pacific atlantic and the indian oceans crossing the antarctic circle the continent reaches closest to cape horn south america in the form of antarctic peninsula the continent is bordered by two bays namely the wardell sea and the ross sea the part of antarctica or the white continent which lies in the eastern hemisphere is known as greater antarctica and that lying in the western hemisphere is lesser antarctica this is because of the difference in the size of the two portions physical features the entire continent is covered with a thick sheet of ice all over called the ice sheet like any other continent antarctica also has several physical features or a varied topography the coastal areas have steep sided cliffs facing the ocean surrounding it at places the land covered with ice extends beneath the water as ice shelves the lambert glacier which is the longest glacier in the world is found in antarctica the beardmore glacier in antarctica is largest in the world the trans antarctic mountains that stretch between eastern and western antarctica lie along the ross sea mount erebus 3795 meters which also lies in this region is an active volcano mount terror is also a volcano existing over the continent mount winson is the highest peak in antarctica the queens modland is located on the eastern part of the continent in the proximity of the weddell sea climate being located around the south pole almost entirely within the antarctic circle the continent experiences extreme polar type of climate the continent is the coldest of all the continents as it lies beyond the 66 and a half degree south latitude it never experiences the overhead sun however the phenomena of 6 months day and 6 months night occurs in this region lying in the higher latitudes the temperature are extremely low throughout the year lowest recorded temperature of antarctica is minus 99 degree celsius during summers when there is 6 months day and sun is near the horizon with a low angle the temperatures are comparatively high that is around 0 degree celsius the temperature of the coastal areas may be few degrees higher during the summer season which extends from november to february the winters which are from may to august have temperatures varying from minus 30 degree celsius to minus 60 degree celsius the sun during this period is below horizon and there is 6 months night as the temperatures are very low there is hardly any water vapor content in the air moisture in air is in the form of snow and falls on earth as snowfall the moisture reaching the land is very less about 10 cm annually strong and bitterly cold winds known as blizzards blow at high speed throughout the year they carry powdered snowflakes with them however comparatively calm conditions prevail around the south pole fact all warm blooded animals living on and around antarctica that is whales seals sea birds and penguins rely on thick layers of blubber to insulate them from the cold the layer of blubber on a weddell seal can be up to 4 inches thick natural vegetation antarctica is a cold desert where the land is covered with a thick ice cover almost throughout the year the temperatures are extremely low and there is no rainfall 
all these conditions do not favor the growth of vegetation cover. However, during summers, some mosses, lichens and fungi may grow in the continent. Wildlife Although the continent is devoid of rich flora, but a number of wildlife species exist over the continent. The famous penguins are found in large numbers in the coastal areas. They live on land and can also swim in the water. They live on fish and other marine foods. The two large-sized mammals, seal and whale, are also found in Antarctica. They also reside in coastal lands. Krill, Antarctic, cool squids are among the various variety of fish found in the waters of the seas and oceans of Antarctica. A number of migratory birds spend summers in Antarctica. Among them are the albatrosses, petrel, skuas and terns. Natural Resources Antarctica is the storehouse of a huge quantity of world's water supply, that is, the ice cover of Antarctica. Although it has been discovered that several minerals are hidden beneath the thick layer of snow and ice, but it is not economical to mine in this area. Further, it has been agreed by a treaty that no excavations will be carried out in Antarctica. This will harm the ecological balance of the continent. However, it is believed that the continent has deposits of coal, iron, copper, uranium, gold, lead, zinc, manganese, antimony, chromate, platinum, nickel, petroleum, diamond, etc. Discovery of Antarctica Many attempts from several nations may be credited with the discovery of Antarctica and interior poles of the continent, including the South Pole. The famous geographer, Claudius Ptolemy, believed in the existence of Terre Australis Incognita far in the south. In 1773, Captain James Cook crossed the Antarctic Circle but could not reach the continent due to the presence of frozen water and the icebergs in the ocean and water bodies surrounding Antarctica. Historians believe that in 1820, Captain Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen, Imperial Russian Navy, Captain Edward Bransfield, British Royal Navy, and Nathaniel Brown Palmer tried to discover the continent but there was no clue as to who was the first to see the southernmost continent. In 1823, James Weddell, James Clark Ross, 1839 to 1843, Hendrik Johann Bull, 1895, Robert Falcon Scott, 1901 to 1904, Hubert Wilkins, 1928, also share the credit of the discovery and exploration of the continent. However, Roald Atmundsen, the Norwegian, is formally credited with the discovery of the continent. He reached in 1911. The person known to reach just five weeks after Amundsen landed over the continent was the British captain Robert Falcon Scott. Expedition of Indians to Antarctica Like other nations, India is also involved in scientific research in the continent. Around 23 expeditions have been organized by India, including scientists initially only from India and later including scientists from other nations also. First Indian expedition in 1982, led by Dr. Syed Zahur Kazim, left from Goa on 9th January 1982. It used the ship Polar Circle to carry the scientists and equipments. This expedition is responsible for the establishment of the unmanned research station Dakshin Gangotri at 70 degree south latitude and 12 degree east longitude. Since the research station was established on an ice shelf, it started drifting. Therefore, the manned research station was established about 11 kilometers from Dakshin Gangotri. This was named Maitri. It can accommodate around 25 people throughout the year. Earlier, 
the expeditions were initiated from Goa, but now since 1999, Cape Town in South Africa is used as the starting point for all the expeditions.